So we start the animation from these bigger, bigger things. Okay. When we are, maybe our animation can mm, 10, 20. Okay. In each 20 frame, it will make the animation. Okay. So apply everything first, save that and add it single. Here we can't add a single because we need all X, Y, and Z, okay? So, first frame, drag and make that zero, boom. And we need to change those, okay? So that's cool. And as well, here we have two things, okay? So, we grab those and we are in frame first let me to apply this guys apply apply and um, we are in frame 115 okay so maybe um, 135 is fine for here and here Or around here maybe okay so just select both and grab their uh, keyframes okay make that zero and insert keyframe so as I told you the origin point is important now we have those at the center. Actually, the origin point is really important, okay? So I told you. So if we grab those origin point and set it from here, okay? From the top, look what will happen, okay? Boom, it will, from the top, it will animate, okay? Make its animation. And this one as well. So we select that and we type zero and insert a keyframe. Okay, so now we have everything. I just move that a few frames, okay, forward so that first this one will come up and then the it's. Uh, keys okay so that's I think that's too much so I'm gonna make that a little bit faster okay I think this is as well too much space so when it hits around 100 so what I'm gonna do is add select and select okay these biggest parts and um, about here okay about here I'm gonna add keyframe okay I'm gonna add keyframe and for here just reset that first I'm gonna add keyframe and about here or maybe here so I just take that and make that zero, insert keyframe, insert keyframe. I'm just gonna make that a little bit faster because you learn everything that I told. Okay, here and insert keyframe, okay? So now we have this cool effect. And if you just grab everything and you just drag from here okay and set that on back and it will work for everything okay works fine for all of my objects and at this moment so maybe here I want to separate those so it won't it will come back after a few seconds a few a few frame I mean I mean a few frames 
so we have this basic shape now okay boom okay so this one uh, origin is too um, far away okay so i just grab it about here and let play again now i think much better okay or maybe if you don't want to it will come from inside this one so you just press and click here select this one y and look at from this and y so it will will arise from this point okay as you can see okay boom okay that is as well one cool thing that you can think about it okay so when we see the screen so we can just select maybe here select the screen okay and about here about 30 maybe 30 so we just parent some of these guys okay and here we have one only and we maybe here need to parent this object to this one keep transform okay and as well this one to the other okay yeah so now this one to this one okay keep transform so now if i move this one everything will move and this one everything will move with it so select that and we add another so let me just apply everything okay so we add a keyframe here okay and as and as well apply this one and maybe here we have just separate it, okay so apply all Oh, font can't be applied so don't worry just font kind of uh, so single uh, maybe I want to make like this okay so I select all my fonts okay and pattern those to the last okay like so so that when i just animate this one everything will pop up with that one okay so about here i want to make my animation so select and make that zero as you can see cool right as you can see boom very cool very cool and uh, uh, here we what's happened with this man we had a lot of oh we may a little mistake okay guys and here as you can see we just need a little bit of of uh, solidify that's because when I applied everything okay so now here we can play around with this array modifier a really cool okay animation so first I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add this guys okay an animation first and um, so here we have its origin that's not good at all so now look guys how it affects as you can see now now much much better and even we can use another for example this one or electric boom okay so you have a lot of options to work with 
Okay. I like this call because this is preset and we don't even need to go and adjust one by one and it's time consuming. I want to blender add too many of this uh, preset, okay? Um, or maybe there is some add-on that make our job much easier. But as you know, in many cases, uh, in all my Blender tutorial or maybe Blender courses, I just um, go with the Blender itself, not any add-ons so that all can follow along, okay? So when it hits here, okay, I want to um, at this frame, I want to set that on one, okay, and add a keyframe. And then about here, I want to add five, okay, and then add a keyframe. So boom, 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 okay. And at the same time from here, okay, I want to make that uh, not in this way. Okay, that's negative two, but like so. Okay, so let me adjust get it. Yeah, about five. We need five, okay? It's about here. Okay, guys, so um, maybe two is fine. So we add a keyframe, okay, here, and we'll select that. Um, so this is here, this is our count, okay? So I want to, that will be on this way and then here I want to make that zero okay okay so as you can see I just play around with this one and then it will turn that in this um, category okay and then what I need to is that set that from here so I just add, add another keyframe, okay? I just set that from negative, okay? Direction, as you can see. Here is my um, Y, okay? And I just set that to one, or maybe zero, okay? Yes, zero. And insert a keyframe, and you can see pool. Or we can make something like this. Okay, first it goes. So this is for our Y, okay. And this one is for our Z, okay, which we have here goes then okay so we can play around with those here first and will it jump to that point and nobody will ask me what exactly you did because we we made a course and you can follow along when you see the demo okay so G and why maybe we grab those a little bit back at this stance because we didn't add any position for this one or a location so we just played around with with the um say with the scale so don't worry we can fix those and one cool thing is that we can just play around with 
its um, origin if you just drag okay the origin um, so I think we can change that origin okay so no problem I thought that we could change the origin I think that's because this is parented okay though the other is parented to that one we can change that okay but if for example I shift the and alt p I clear the parent and now I think that we can I can change for me that's because that is a font if I convert it to mesh now I can so for the um, curve object actually we can't change okay 